So we get that <clears throat> you are feeling the extra weight on your body. You are feeling heavier than you would like to feel and you are carrying more physical weight around than you would like to. And we just want you to take a moment to breathe here. Just dropping in to your body, breathing in to that sensation of extra weight, the heaviness. the burden, the responsibility of carrying that weight. Just breathing into your body, breathing down into your heart, and just feeling into the feeling of, of how you perceive yourself in this heavier physical state. Because what we are getting with you is a feeling of frustration, feeling frustrated with yourself, feeling frustrated with your body, feeling frustrated that your body isn't responding like you'd like it to and there's a feeling of overwhelm in there <clears throat> of so many things going on as you are uh, raising a small child uh, and running a business and dealing with all of those aspects of life <clears throat> that are feeling, it feels as though there is, there's a bit more than you are able to handle. It's that frequency of, this is a bit more than I can handle. And, uh, and in the weight, there's also an energy of, uh, of more, uh, uh, more than you want to handle, more than you want to handle. So we want you to just take a breath there. And the words that come in for us, for you, are belief in self. Belief in self. It's like there's a visual of you uh, almost stretching taller and the weight uh, uh, shedding off of you and your uh, spine extending almost an inch taller like there's uh, it's almost like the vision of you right now is almost like a little more hunched over and softened in the belly uh, with uh, frustration with self Frustration with not being able to keep up with everything. Frustrated with yourself that you're not a good enough mom. That you're not keeping up with everything. That uh, that it's there's just more than you can handle, and uh, or more than you want to be handling, and. So it's, it's like we're getting the visual of heavier weight on the body or heavier responsibility on the body, body and a little bit of hunching over almost in the shoulders. And what we see is that as you breathe in and hold your head up high, straighten your back, put your shoulders back and breathe into the, your body and begin to feel proud of yourself. Begin to feel proud of yourself as a mother. Really acknowledging yourself. 
as a mother, for this beautiful child that you have, for all the ways that you don't give yourself credit for, for what you bring to her on a daily basis, the essence of you that you bring to her on a daily basis, all the little things that you do for your child as a mother. We are aware that it's Mother's Day weekend, uh, Mother's Day tomorrow, and we would invite you to take the opportunity on Mother's Day to really, really acknowledge yourself for all that you've done as a mother, for all that you do as a mother on a, on a daily basis. Uh, all the little things that you do to support this beautiful child of yours. Uh, everything from cooking and cleaning and helping her get dressed and teaching her about life, teaching her about the world and engaging in fun conversations with her and holding her and kissing her cheeks and loving her and just being present with her and uh, uh, just your uh, loving gaze as a mother. Most mothers don't realize the impact of just their loving gaze on a child. Their loving gaze of of overflowing unconditional love in their eyes for the perfection of this child of theirs that they adore completely. To be held in that gaze as a child fills your uh fills a little one up to feel that true unconditional love coming from a mother's kind face a mother's loving face we would encourage you to just be more present with your child and be more present with yourself and giving yourself love giving yourself acknowledgement for for all that you've done as a mother and for all that you've done to create your business and to uh, for who you are as a business owner. There's just so much not giving yourself respect, not giving yourself acknowledgement, not giving yourself appreciation for all the work that you do. It's like the weight, the weightedness is focused on all that you're not doing. I'm not doing this. I can't keep up with that. I can't keep up with that. I can't, I can't do this. There's that out there. And I should have been doing this better. And I'm really screwing up as a mom. And I should be a better mother. And I should be more of this. And I should be more of that. And, and the weight that you're carrying feels to us more like the weight of, of, of the pressure and the burden and the responsibility that you are putting on yourself without acknowledging how incredible you already are and how much you are already doing. And we feel that deeply with you, dear one, that if you were to shift your attention, shift your focus and shift your frequency in the process from the weighted side of all that you have to do and all that you're not doing to the appreciation side of I'm really doing an amazing job as a mother every day I do my best and I just love this sweet child so much and I love all that I'm giving her and I love all that she's becoming and I love the freedom that she has to become that I love that I'm her mom, I love that she chose me, and I love that since she chose me as her mom, I am the perfect mom for her. I am the perfect mom for her. We chose each other coming into this lifetime. Everything I'm doing is part of the importance of her soul journey, and I'm so appreciative to her for choosing me, and I'm going to relax more into my role as mother. I'm going to relax more into... Mm, 
into this relationship with my little one and I'm going to relax more into my business and into the acknowledgement of my abilities and the work that I do. I'm just going to relax more into it. I'm going to give myself more appreciation. I'm going to let myself off the hook more and I'm going to let go of that feeling of responsibility for all all the shoulds and all the things that I believe I uh, I should be taking on rather than uh, lightening my load from a place of appreciation and acknowledgement. And so, dear one, we would encourage you before you go to bed every night to make a practice of, of self-acknowledgement, of self-love, of journaling in a journal or uh, meditating on it or laying in bed and just acknowledging yourself at the end of every day for all that you did that day, all that you did as a mother, all that you did as a business owner, all that you did in your relationship, just really acknowledging what you have done and then if there's anything that feels undone that you did not complete in that day, we would encourage you to get complete with it by saying, these are the things that I did not complete today, but I am complete with their incompleteness. As I go to sleep tonight, I am resting well, knowing that I did as much as I could today. I did my very best today, and I'm letting go all that which I did not get done. I am handing it over to the universe. I'm handing it over to the universe to handle. And tomorrow I'm going to do my best once again to, uh, to, uh, to create what I want to create in my day, to accomplish as much as I can accomplish in my business, and to be loving and present as a mother. And just, do you feel the shift in the energy of going to bed feeling complete, with everything you've done, going to going to bed feeling complete and not having any shoulds. Ah, oh, tomorrow I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do I should have done, oh, why didn't I do that? Oh, I didn't get done with that. So there's an incompleteness there that happens at the end of every day, which then keeps your body in an incomplete cycle. It can't digest as well. It can't... Uh, be as efficient as a, of a machine. It can't work as efficiently when it's being fed with all the thoughts of I'm not enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not, I can't, I'm not completing enough. I'm not, uh, not enough, not enough. Need to do more. Need to do more. <clears throat> So, as you go to sleep at night, when you get complete with yourself and your day, we would encourage you to connect in with your body, breathe into your body, and go through a process of giving your body love. I love you, body. Thank you for carrying me through the day today. Thank you for moving me everywhere I needed to be moved today. Thank you for being there for me. And tap into your immune system. Really have a conversation with your immune system. Thank you, immune system, for being uh, so supportive of me. For keeping me healthy. For keeping me strong. I love you, immune system. I love my immune system. I love what a powerful immune system I have. And I love that it's getting stronger every day. And imagine that you are turning up the dial on your metabolism as you go to sleep. Just imagine that there's a knob and you're actually turning up the dial on your metabolism. Increasing your metabolism. I love my metabolism. I love how efficient my body is. I love how efficiently my body processes food. I love how efficiently my body... Uh, uh, derives nutrients from everything I eat. I love how efficiently my body burns fat. I love how efficiently my body turns fat into energy. I love how efficiently my body builds muscle. And just breathe into that. Imagining yourself turning up the dial on your metabolism. <clears throat> 
and you can start having a conversation with your adrenals and your uh, the way your body responds to stress and just giving your adrenals love and support. Thank you, adrenals, for being so good to me. Thank you for uh, for uh, for being so healthy and not overtaxed. Thank you for uh, helping me handle what stress there is. And thank you for uh, going about it with such strong energy, with such strong chi. I love that my adrenals keep getting stronger all the time. I love that my, hand, my body can handle any stress, any intensity that comes towards it. And for you, dear one, we would uh, encourage you to really visualize your body shrinking. Visualize the weight falling off. Visualize yourself uh, standing taller and thinner and experiencing that weight falling away. Really hold yourself there. See yourself. Keep holding the image of, uh, of how you want your body to become. And as you're envisioning that, uh, uh, having a conversation with your body. I love that we're moving into this healthy state. I love that we're slimming. I love that we're becoming more efficient. I love that we're becoming healthier all the time. I love that we're becoming stronger. I love that we're becoming more agile. And then make sure that you love your body exactly as it is right now. Body, I love you exactly as you are right now. I love every square inch of you. I'm so appreciative of this body that I have. I'm so appreciative of this body that I have. And I'm so appreciative of how my body is transforming. So appreciative of how my body is transforming. I love my body now, and I love how much lighter I feel in my body. I love how efficiently my body is releasing weight, excess weight. I love my body. I love my mind. I love my heart. I love my soul. I love who I am in the world, and I am enough. I am enough. I'm more than enough. I'm more than enough. Really breathing there. I'm more than enough. All of my needs are met. Everything is handled. Handing over all of that weight of responsibility and burden to the universe. I'm letting the universe handle it as I just spend more time appreciating and acknowledging myself and doing the best that I can every day and letting myself off the hook for the rest. Just breathing there. And just shake your body a bit as you're breathing there. Just shake, 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 shake. Resettering, repatterning. Just like you're a wild animal shaking here. Shaking, shaking, shaking out that old energy. Mm -hmm. Shake, shake, shake your hips, shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Just doing a little system reset. And we would encourage you to do that little reset every night. And now what's coming in is a new relationship with food. So we would encourage you to, to open up to a kinder relationship with food where you're not condemning any foods, where you're not putting food in your mouth and thinking, oh, I shouldn't be eating this, but I'm just wanting to eat it anyway. No, oh, I'm a bad person for eating this. Oh, this is just going to cause me to feel this way or gain more weight or it's naughty food, whatever it is. All of those thoughts are a 
disruptive relationship with food. So you want to come into a harmonious relationship with what you are eating. So so you can begin by having conversations with your body about about being drawn to and craving foods that are exactly what your body needs in any moment so that your dominant frequency is I always choose the foods that are of, uh, of greatest nourishment to my body in any moment I, I have a tendency to just choose the foods that are uh, exactly what my body needs and I can feel that craving in my body for the nutrients that my body needs so that you're becoming more sensitive to just allowing your body to intuitively guide you to the nutrients that it desires while simultaneously feeling appreciation for every bite of food, for every food that you're putting in your mouth, even if it's a donut, even if it's something that's not on the healthy food list in your mind. If you're going to eat a donut, eat it with appreciation and eat it with the knowing that your body is going to process it uh, with high efficiency, it's going to get all the nutrients that it needs out of it, and that it's okay. It's okay for you to have that so that you're not fighting against food as you're eating it. Because any energy of fighting against, pushing against, resisting uh, food as you're putting it into your mouth just causes the food to be heavy in your body. It causes weight to put on because it's resistance, it's resistant energy, and weight holds that frequency of resistance, resisting things, piling it on. <clears throat> so, so have a kind of relationship with your food. Feel appreciation for it. Don't condemn yourself for what you're eating, but encourage yourself simultaneously to be uh, having a happy relationship with uh, the foods that you're putting in your body and choosing the foods that are of uh, greatest nourishment to your body. And with that, we are just tuning in. And really, the words that we get are just... Let yourself off the hook more. Let yourself off the hook of responsibility more. Give yourself more credit. Give yourself more appreciation. Give yourself more love. Give your body more love. Give your body more appreciation. And realize that people put a lot of uh, heaviness on how hard it is to lose weight. Like losing weight is a big thing. Just like, uh, like money can feel like a really big thing for people. And so we would say, don't make weight an issue. It's not a big deal. What if weight just wasn't a big deal? What if losing weight wasn't a big deal? What if it wasn't some huge hurdle? What if it wasn't some big mountain? What if it wasn't something you were just struggling against all the time? Same thing applies to money. What if money wasn't a big deal? What if you weren't putting all this pressure on how empty your bank account is and how you don't have money to pay your bills? What if you're the one that's making it all dramatic? What if you're the one that's making it all feel bigger? Uh, the heaviness of the body weight, the inability to lose it, <clears throat> the inability to make the money that you want. We just want you to breathe there. And let go of any drama and any story that you have around how hard and difficult it is to lose weight. How maybe you've done it in the past, but you can't seem to do it now. Just let go of that story. It's just an old story that was helping keep the weight on. That story can go away. You can let it go. And your new story is, 
My body's a highly efficient mechanism that burns calories like nobody's business. I have a metabolism like a like a 15 year old. My body just processes things so quickly and efficiently and I had a weight thing long ago, but now it's just easy. It's just easy. I'm just in a loving relationship with my body and everything's just easier. This weight thing is not the big deal that I've been making it out to be. It just isn't. I'm done with it being a big deal because it's not. It's not. It's not at all. Everything's just becoming much easier to me. And I so appreciate that. And I so appreciate myself. I so appreciate this ease. I so appreciate this flow. And I'm going to spend more time appreciating how efficient my life is. How productive my life is. How amazing my life is. And really acknowledging myself. For being the beautiful human being that I am. In a beautiful human body. And with that dear one. We are very appreciative to you. And we look forward to chatting again soon.